Hello everybody and welcome to Beyond the Baltic Sea DLC for Euro Truck Simulator 2. So first of all a massive thank you to SCS for sending this to me early. This is the early access version and I have not been paid to make the video but I do get to keep the uh, the game in return for the video which in itself is a pretty good deal. Um, so fantastic. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the, uh, the DLC. Now obviously this is going to be covering a very wide area, um, so there's no way that we can cover everything, but I'm going to try my best to show off several different routes and give you an idea of what the DLC is all about. So I'm currently just doing a job all the way from Estonia to the west of Latvia, which is just here. What I'll do is I'll show you the included area. It's quite obvious here, like this uh, unexplored section. It's big. It's a big DLC. But yes, I'll just show you the, the five different included countries. So we have the south of Finland, the southern section of Finland, some of Russia, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, and another section just here, which I believe is Russia, um, and also including one of Russia's largest cities, St. Petersburg, just here. So yeah, I've driven so far from Poldiski, and we're driving to Lierpaja. I, I must apologize for my pronunciations, they're not very good. Now the release date is currently just set out as late 2018, so I can't tell you when it's going to be released, but that is a very good indication that it's going to be fairly soon. We only have December left and a bit of November, so yeah. Providing it is released this year, which I'm assuming it will be, there can't be much of a wait left. If you want to find out all the details about the DLC, the best place to go to is the SCS blog. Um, but yeah, the Steam page does have a very brief description currently, which I'll just very quickly read out. It basically says, Beyond the Baltic Sea map expansion will include the three Baltic states of Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia, and also the south of Finland and parts of Russia, including Russia's second largest city, St. Petersburg. So that's what we already covered, and yeah, you can see the area just around here. So I have obviously done this small section. I'm going to hopefully do some others. I might have to do them as a quick job, but I do want to use my own truck since it is high horsepower and fully specced, I suppose, in some ways. Uh, it's pretty good anyway. It's a decent lorry. So let's continue. I am 47 miles away from my destination. It was about a 295 mile trip, so we're pretty much there. Now you will see that we have an NS oil tanker on the back, which has 23 tons of diesel in it. We do have some of the same liveries in the DLC, but it also brings a load more brand new names and yeah, obviously for the industries, we're going to have some different industries as well. I believe from reading a Wikipedia page for the game, there's going to be more farms and out of the city, out of the town destinations to go to, to pick up and deliver loads to. The likelihood is the NS oil brand which we're currently uh, transporting is a name you recognize. Yeah, that's not one of the new ones, but there are plenty of new ones. In fact, in a minute what I'll do is I go onto the minimap and zoom into the different areas and show you some of the different brands. It's so green around here, it's lovely. So fresh. Lots of trees. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing there's going to be a variation as we go through the different countries. Now you may well see me speed a few times, but yeah, I do get carried away when it comes to ETS2. I'm always very excited to play it, um, so I have a fairly heavy right foot. Um, right, okay, so our destination is requiring our delivery fast. Yeah, well luckily, we're only nine miles away. Yes, yeah, so I'll also do some third-person views as well, so you can uh, take in some of the lovely views. Okay, so here we are. We have arrived at our destination. Um, so we'll just keep following the sat-nav until we get to the depot we're going to. We have to reduce our speed. Yeah, at the same time, look at all the uh, traffic as well. Right. So we have the repair shop just up here on the left-hand side. A train line just here. And several different businesses. So 
So we have some businesses here. In fact, this is the one we're going to. Right. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'll show you on the mini-map some of the different company names. And yeah, I don't think I should go down here forwards. I think I might have to reverse down here. Right, so there we go, we're in position. Uh, we'll deliver this first load, which was actually a pretty good one. It's a really high price. So, I don't think I took any damage. Nope, seems good. £21,000. Perfect. Moving on, let's grab another job and we'll take it to somewhere else within the DLC. Um, so, obviously I've got it sorted to price per distance. We'll go for one which is pretty good, but obviously still going to the right place. St. Petersburg. There we go, so Russia, um, we'll go up there. If there's one to Lithuania first, I'll go there. Let me just see. I couldn't find one to Lithuania, so what I'm going to do is drive without a load to Klaipeda, which isn't too far away, it's about 50 miles, yeah, 55 miles. And we'll try and pick up a, another load from there and take it either within Lithuania or north again towards Russia. And we'll hopefully we'll finish off in Finland. That is my plan, although that is going to take a while to do. So we'll see how we go. Um, Failing that, we'll go from Klaipeda to Russia. We'll just take a look. It's just a taster anyway of uh, what the DLC is like. So we will leave our tanker just there. And we'll make our fairly short journey over to Klaipeda. So I think this is a tram line just here. Here is a tram, in fact. Here we go. traffic lights back there did change for us but obviously if there's a tram coming they're going to be on red because it goes across the road it's busy here very busy another tram yeah we're going left actually so yeah it's uh, clearly very detailed um, always love the detailing of the DLCs. And here we are approaching Klaipeda. So, yeah, what we're going to do is take a look at the job market and see if we can get one north again. Uh, if not, well, we'll just drive over to the next place within Lithuania. Anyway, yeah, when we do get here, I'll zoom in on the minimap and, like I said, I'll show you these depots, these company names. Uh, I think I'll pick one at random to begin with because I need to pull over to take a look at the job page. So, yes, we'll go right. Go into here. Good. In fact, we could just stay outside. Um, so, there we go. The map. If we zoom in here, you can see the different company names which we've got. Um, the, the chances are I'm not going to be able to pronounce many of them, but there's a wide variety in all of these different locations.
quite a few with the word Baltic in the name. So yeah, you can see GNT and NS Oil, we already recognize, but some new ones as well. Okay then, so yes, we can say we have been through Lithuania, we're going to drive across Lithuania and we'll, like I say, head north. Um, so let me just choose a job and hopefully it's a fairly well paid one. Okay, so the one I've found is actually a really good one to go for, uh, mainly because of the amount of uh, towns and cities it goes through, or, or very close to. Um, as you can see, we go from Lithuania straight through Latvia, we just about go through Estonia, through Russia, and then almost to Finland. So we should be able to finish off in Finland with a short job. It is the cheapest job, but it doesn't really matter uh, for the purpose of this video. So if we get it booked in, we'll go and pick it up and we have a lot of miles to cover. The container port is just down here. So this is a really good opportunity for me to go into third person view and show you some of the uh, views. Now I must say I'm actually not too familiar with the traffic light system around here. Um, from what I can tell it flashes green which I'm assuming means it's about to change back to amber or to, to red obviously. Um, but it also sometimes can flash just amber as it does do in other countries too. And I think that means, I'm not totally sure, but I think it means that you can go through, but with caution, make sure you give way. Um, but as we don't have that system in the UK, I'm not too familiar with it. Okay, so yeah, we're turning right here and the container port is down the bottom of the road. We'll go and grab our trailer and start the big journey north. Northeast, really. There were some much better paid jobs, but it went straight back through Estonia, where we've just been, uh, to Finland, which is good. But yeah, we'll be driving the same route we've just driven. So this gives it a bit more diversity. Right, here we are. Let's grab our trailer. So this one is the one. Let's accept the job. And it should be waiting for us somewhere within the containers. Here it is. Let the journey begin. It is a 608 mile journey. I think it's all on land. I don't think any of it is by sea. So we have quite a bit of driving to do. Like I say though, most of it will be time lapsed. If it's an area where we're in a built up section, then it will be in real time, unless it's a very brief section uh, where it wouldn't even be worth slowing the video down for. Uh, we have uh, Starline over there. Okay, so back through Clypeda. But like I say, this is just a taster of the DLC. Way more places to go to than what we're going to cover today. Um, clearly very detailed from what I've seen so far. So if you're going to get it, then uh, yeah, when it's out, there's plenty of places to discover. Lots to explore.
Well, that is the first 100 miles or so gone. Uh, we have some different coloured cows. Around about. <laughs> Very nice. Um, so yeah, let's continue. We have got to refuel at some point as well, and we'll take a break. So uh, next time we get to a fuel station, I'll pull over and we'll spend a few minutes there. Obviously refuel the, uh, the truck anyway. So that'll take a little while. And we'll continue our journey. It's looking good. Just loving the detail. The thing which amazes me is the amount of space there is out here. Fantastic. So many open fields and forests and it's just so lush. Anyway, yeah, when we get to the uh, fuel station, I'll also show you the map and show you exactly where we are. Um, those who are familiar with the area anyway might be able to recognise it. But obviously for those who don't, and me, I need to look and just see exactly where we are. Okay, so here is the fuel station. Uh, we do have to pull in, it's on the other side of the road, but that's not an issue. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the fuel price is going to be like. Soon find out. Here we are. Okay, uh, so the price is 123. 1 euro 23 cents per litre. Seems pretty average. Um, yeah, it's going to cost us a bit of money though. 566. Not too bad. Uh, let's continue our journey. Well, we'll have, a, yeah, we'll have a minute break here. Train! There is a train over there. There's just so much to bring the map alive. The fuel station we went to was VRM Oil, in case you're wondering. And we do have the prices here anyway. And yes, what I need to show you is the map. So, as you can see, we are in Latvia. Currently in Latvia. Still heading northeast. So let's continue. We have 457 miles to go. So, still quite a long way. But we have loads of sights to take in. So, uh, yeah, let's appreciate it. looks to be a hydroelectric dam. We do have massive reservoirs above here. And uh, yeah, it certainly looks like it anyway. Interesting place to be. Yeah. We might get another view of the reservoirs up here. Hopefully we do. I'm sure that is hydroelectric. Ah, oh, we're going straight on over the roundabout. But yeah, this massive mound you see here. That is the bank of it. Tractor! A Deutsche Far tractor with a trailer. Nice! So this is, uh, this is uh, still in Latvia. Um, very picturesque. We've even got a sign there which is telling us our speed. We've got the green light, that's good to see. Wow. It's immensely detailed. A train line, just down there. Can't see a train. River. So many trees, it's so so beautiful. So in a minute what I'll do is I'll show you the map again so we can all see where we are. Um, yeah, usually I've got my foot right down wanting to get the job done. 
but this time I want to go as slow as possible just to be able to see everything. So much stuff that you could miss. I think when I just show you the, uh, the scenery, it describes the DLC fairly well. Much better than me trying to explain it. I've just pulled over at this lake. Um, it's a very good place to take a look at the map. There we go, do some sightseeing. So we're here. So not too far until we get to the next town, I think it is. And then we'll be heading north into Russia and to our destination. And then, like I say, finally, we're trying to find somewhere in Finland. I'm not too sure where it's going to be. Uh, possibly Helsinki. It would be a nice finishing point. I'd love to go to Helsinki. But yes, if I'm not mistaken, I think we are about to cross back into Estonia. Only very briefly. I can't really see too much here. Uh, we're clear. Uh, yes, we are. There is a, a lorry coming, but it doesn't look to be going too fast. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, so let's continue. We have just over 300 miles left to go. Yeah, here we are. Customs. So we're in the line, we're in the queue. Checking our documents. It's a good thorough check. So, yeah, it's not as quick as just the toll booth. We have to uh, make sure everything is correct. Nice and realistic. Okay, we're going to try and merge in turn here. And I believe, yeah, we have to go left here for another check. guess we can pick anything. Go for this one here. Right, here we are. Another, it is, it's another check. So they're checking our documents again. And it seems everything is good. Yeah, everything is in order. Have a nice journey. So I'm assuming we are now all right to continue. This is going to be tough. It's very busy around here. Around customs. Uh, good time to take a look at the map though. So we have 268 miles left to go. Let's go. Well, when we can do anyway. Well, as I'm sure you've just witnessed, we have just been crashed into by this driver just here. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've taken some damage on, which is a bit unfortunate. We're going to have to go to a 
body shop to get it all repaired um, because I think it's going to cause some issues. It's about 25% damage. Shame, it was going so well. Anyway, these things happen. Let's continue. If I see a repair shop, we'll stop off at it. But uh, yeah, if we don't do, then we'll just have to continue. Okay, so we are only 114 miles away from our destination. It is starting to go dark, um, but we are a long way north, so I can't imagine it's going to go too dark. Um, yeah, and it is almost 10 o'clock, so 10 p.m. Let's go up here. <laughs> it's the only way to go, and we will uh, yeah continue our journey. It's going well, except for the crash. And I did have a an incident with the engine stalling because of the damage we've uh, acquired which is a bit of a shame, but yeah, it's not been uh, worthwhile to come off and repair, so hopefully very soon, probably at our destination, we'll be able to go and repair, so we have no damage at all, and then our final trip will be uh, incident-free. So here we are. We are just continuing here. We do have a repair shop, which is good. In fact, everywhere does, um, with the exception of farms and quarries and that sort of stuff, because they are out of town. And I did want to go to one, but so far we haven't had the opportunity. So we'll drop the trailer off. I don't think we've taken any damage on the cargo which is good and amazing. I can't believe that when we crashed into that car, well, the car crashed into us, um, it didn't shift uh, and it didn't, didn't smash it up. But uh, yeah, it's good. It's very good. So now I have to do some reversing and then we'll take the next job and head over to Finland. There we go. Let's see how much money we've made from this. It was a really low value job, but it went through a lot of very interesting places. So I'm very pleased about that. 23,000, no damage. Perfect. I don't really have much of a selection from here. So what I'm going to do is move on to the next place, which we can go to. Um, There's probably more around here. So we can experience this destination, uh, Kuvlo Kuvlola. I'm not very good, I, I have to admit. Um, and then hopefully we'll go to Helsinki. If we can't find anything which is going to be nearby, we'll just drive to Helsinki anyway, because I want that to be my destination, the final stop. And luckily, on our route, 
completely, we don't have to go out of the way at all, is the repair shop. So that is ideal. It's really helpful. And yeah, like I thought, it is staying light quite late. Um, it is now half past midnight, <laughs> almost, and the sun is still setting. So this is going to be the end of the damage from the car. Hopefully it's not closed. Good. There is another customer. Or it's just a truck parked up. Good, so it's going to cost us £32,000. Uh, I admit one or two of those was me hitting a signpost. But the majority was the car. Back at customs, just doing a bit of checking of the documents. All clear. We are now in Finland. And it's busy. It's busy in Finland. At least this area is, but yes, it does seem to be very busy around the checkpoints. We've just arrived at Kuvola, and we're now going to check to see if we can get a job from here to Helsinki. Like I say, if not, we'll just drive without anything. It would be nice to have a trailer, but we don't need to have one uh, if it's not totally necessary. Um, so, I'm just going to pull over here, last minute decision, and we'll check to see what we can do from this location. I've got a fantastic selection, but unfortunately Helsinki wasn't there. It's only 170 miles away, so let's just drive it and we'll finish off at the capital. I just saw a fire engine over there in the distance. We are just 30 miles away. I've even seen a cement mixer as well back there. You know, a rigid truck, not articulated. In fact, it's following us. So if I let it overtake me, it might not overtake, it might just sit there and think, hang on, what's he doing? He can't be letting me go. I'll just, um... Yes, here it comes. I will, I'll pull over at the bottom of here. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if it passes us. There it is. Nice. Now I need to get out somehow. Easier said than done. Thank you, Laurie. Not sure if you were letting me go or not, but I've I've parged my way through anyway. And here we are, Helsinki. We need to go left here. And we're actually going down to the port, I think. Um, it's quite a spread out area. Lots of different destinations within the city. Okay, it must be us now. Good. We are. We have done quite a few miles today. Um, it's been uh, a lovely drive, except for the crash. Um, useless driver. But luckily, we do have the money to pay for the damage, so that's fine. Okay, so we're heading right just here. And like I say, I'm sure we're just going out of the city to get to the port. So it's probably not showing off Helsinki at its best, because obviously I think most of it is round here. I'm sure the port is lovely, it's just, yeah, most of the city is round this way. Um, but you can see it. There's a tram there as well. A wheel loader. Over there. Here. So here we are. I've parked up, although I'm not actually in a parking space. Silly me. I, I should have gone over there. Anyway, yes, thank you SCS for the early access. I really appreciate it. And I think the DLC is looking absolutely stunning. Looks incredible. 
So, yeah, release is soon, sometime late 2018 it says. But other than that, I can't really say a great deal. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again very soon in the next video. Bye for now.